that. <laughs> that that somebody was willing to take your life over a catalytic converter, you know. A very scary encounter for a Manchester man who interrupted a catalytic converter theft and was shot at by the suspects. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is joining us live from the police department with more on this investigation. Courtney. Well, this all happened just a half mile from the police department. We talked to a neighbor who heard it all. I heard hollering first, yelling first, and then two quick gunshots, pop, pop. It was Don McLaughlin's neighbor who yelled out at four suspects after he heard a power saw sound early this morning. That he was kind of upset <laughs> that that somebody was willing to take your life over a catalytic converter, you know. It happened on Hamlin Street in Manchester just after 3.30 this morning. Don said his neighbor asked them what they were doing in his driveway. And that's when one of them popped, pulled, a, pulled a fire arm and popped two two caps at him, you know, so <laughs> I mean, here are people willing to kill over a catalytic converter. That's crazy stuff, man. The suspects got away with that catalytic converter. Police say they smashed the car's window, too. Other vehicle windows in the area were also smashed. Neighbors say the suspects found loose change about 75 cents worth. They also tell us they've seen these four men driving a dark car in their neighborhood twice now. Cruising the street slowly, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's just getting things in, mapped into their mind what the exit routes are, what's the best way to get under there, get it out. And while we're here, there's a car right next door. Why not break into that? And Police want to remind you to call 911 and report crimes in progress rather than attempt to confront individuals observed. When calling, provide as much information as possible on the criminal activity and description of suspects. Crime is crime, and if you don't crack down on it, it's only going to get worse. Now, police haven't caught the suspects yet. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Manchester Police Department. We're live from Manchester, Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.